Oatmeal, it's like healthy confetti. It's just so exciting. It just makes you want to dance and it serves so many purposes. I know you are as enthusiastic about this as I am, right? No? Well, you gotta admit, at least it tastes good. But nonetheless, oatmeal is hearty, delicious, and nutritious, and you need to eat more of it. So here are six easy ways to prepare it. The first way is the most classic, on the stovetop. Y'all, this is not rocket science. The main thing to remember here is the ratio of liquid to oats. It's like making rice, two to one. Two parts liquid to one part oats. No need to be fussy here. Add water, oats, and a pinch of salt. The pinch of salt is key. Who wants bland oatmeal? Bring it to a boil, let it simmer for a few minutes, take it off the heat, cover it, and let it sit for a few minutes more, and you're ready to go. Just stir in some butter, sugar, and whatever else you'd like. And if that wasn't easy enough, my preferred way is in the microwave. Same ratio, two parts liquid to one part oats. I like to mix a little milk into the water for added calcium and creaminess. Microwave it for a couple minutes and then you're ready to go. Just stir in some butter, sugar, top it with fruit and nuts, and it's a hearty meal that will keep you going all morning long. You could stop there, but why would you? You're gonna sleep much better tonight knowing that there are four more complicated ways to make it. Let's talk about overnight oats. This way is good for people on the go who just wanna grab their breakfast and walk out the door. You're gonna follow the same ratio here, two parts liquid to one part oats. Stir in whatever else you like. And if you wanna be really trendy, stir in those chia seeds. But for real, it does bulk up the nutrition. Add in any dried fruits or nuts, put the cover on it and refrigerate it till the next day. When you wake up, give it a stir and top it with fresh fruit. If you don't want it cold, then pop it in the microwave for a minute. The fourth way to prepare your oats is in a slow cooker. Have you thought of that before? I don't know why you would ever use this method unless you are feeding a bunch of people in the morning who all happen to love oatmeal. In my house, that's not the case. The best thing about this is when you wake up, breakfast is ready. Just stir in a little milk or half and half and season as desired. Plus, it does make the house smell good. The thing to remember about slow cooker oatmeal is you wanna up that ratio. Three parts liquid to one part oats. And the fifth way, are you ready for this? Because we all need another reason to use that Instant Pot. Instant Pot oatmeal. This is good for those longer cooking oats, like steel cut oats, because you can make it in five minutes or less. But this couldn't be easier. Two parts liquid, one part oats, go ahead and season it, set the timer for five minutes, and you're ready to go. It may stick a little bit to the bottom of the Instant Pot. You'll be okay. If it sticks, no problem, just keep stirring. It'll just add more creaminess to the oatmeal. And for the sixth and final way to prepare your oatmeal, baked oatmeal. Now listen, this is gonna be the surprise dish you take to the next brunch. It's not the cheesy, delicious bacony egg casserole, but it's the healthy version. Check out the recipe below from Well Done Food for best baked oatmeal. It truly is indulgent. It's full of butter, sugar, fruit, and oats, so I mean it's basically healthy. But for real, it will be a crowd favorite. Now how much fun was that making oatmeal? It may not be the most exciting food, but look, it is nutritious and quite delicious. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring.